Hello aspirants, this is Yasmin Gill presenting to you the PIB MCQs of 28th of January. So do follow all these videos on this particular link plus you can also rate and review the videos. And simultaneously beginning with a couple of instructions, do watch yesterday's PIB summary plus do not forget to mention your scorecard. So first question of the day is which among them is true? A. Wimbledon is held in Scotland. B. Australian Open is held in Perth. C. French Open is held in Paris. D. US Open is held in Washington. And well, the correct answer to all these Grand Slams qu based question is that only here by only C is correct. Why? Because see, Wimbledon is held in London, Australian Open in Melbourne. If you look at US Open, it is not held in Washington, rather it is held in New York City. So only C is the correct answer here. Next question, which among them is not among the five pole bound states this year? Punjab, UP, Mizoram, Goa, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand. So correct answer to this question is C. Punjab is there, UP is there, Mizoram is not there. Instead, Manipur is to go to polls this year. If you look at Goa, this is also there. And among Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand, we have Uttarakhand going to polls and not Himachal Pradesh. So we here, hereby have C and E as the correct answer. Next question, what is true of Guru Ravidas? A. He was the disciple of Ramanand. B. Guru Ravidas composition, fine mention in Guru Granth Sahib. C. Guru Ravidas was born in Punjab. So recently we were celebrating Guru Ravidas Jayanti. So the correct answer here is, first one is absolutely correct. Uh, Guru Ravidas was famous particularly in the Bhakti movement. If you look at B, yes, his compositions were mentioned in the prime book of uh, Sikhism, that is Guru Granth Sahib. If you look at C, Guru Ravidas was not born in Punjab, rather he was born in Varanasi, UP. Next question, which among them is true? A, Jwala Gatta is a famous tennis player from India. B, Anka Jadwani is a famous billiards player from India. C. Both of them are correct or D. None of them is correct. So why important? Because both these players have casted their doubts upon the selection of Padma Awards this very year. And well, the correct answer to this question is only B. Why? Because Jwala Gatta is not a, uh, not a famous tennis player. Rather, she is a famous badminton player. Next. Which among them is correct? A. Rani Padmini was the queen of Ranthambore. B. Fort of Ranthambore was also attacked by Alauddin Khalji. C. Padmavat is a poem written by Amir Khusro. So, well, the correct answer to this question is only B. So, in news, because Sanjay Leela Bansali is coming up with a movie on this uh, personality, that is Rani Padmini. So, the first option is wrong. Why? Because Rani Padmini was the queen of Chittor and not Ranthambore. Though Ranthambore and Chittor both were attacked by Alauddin Khalji. So, B is correct. And if you look at C, this is wrong. Why? Because Padmavat is a composition by Malik Mohammad Jayasi and not Amir Khusro. So, only B is the correct answer here. Next question, which among them is correct? A. Chinese New Year is based on Luni Solar Calendar. B. The New Year is also known as Spring Festival. C. First day of the year is marked by Lantern Festival. D. Each Chinese New Year is characterized by one of the 12 animals. E. Chinese Zodiac is divided into 12 blocks with each block having a time length of one month. So see, looking at the options here, the first one is absolutely correct based on Luni Solar Calendar. B is also correct. C is wrong. Why? Because it is not the first day of the year which is marked by Lantern Festival. Rather, this whole celebration go on to 15 days. And the 15th day of the new year is marked by Lantern Festival. If you look at D, yes, they are uh, one of the 12 animals which are found in zodiac signs. It, it, it actually becomes a symbol of one of the new years. And if you look at E, Chinese zodiac, yes, it is divided into 12 blocks. But unlike Western zodiac, Chinese Zodiac, they do not have a time of one month, rather they have a time of one year. So, for example, this particular year, it is the year of the rooster, so which is the 10th animal in the Zodiac signs. So, this particular animal will continue the, for this particular year and next year when Chinese New Year will come again, there will be the there will be some other animal which will be representing that particular year. So the whole tenure is one year as compared to western zodiac system whereby it is one month, one animal or one particular logo for one month and not one year. But hereby we have one year. So hereby we have ABD as the correct answer. Next question, quarterly employment survey is released by Labor Bureau, CSO that is Central Statistical Organization. See both of them or D none of them. So, correct answer here is Labor Bureau or A option. Next, 
ਰਾਜਘਾਟ ਸਮਾਧੀ ਸਮਿਤੀ ਕਮਸ ਅੰਡਰ ਵਿਚ ਮਿਨਿਸਟਰੀ ਮਿਨਿਸਟਰੀ ਆਫ ਕਲਚਰ ਮਿਨਿਸਟਰੀ ਆਫ ਅਰਬਨ ਡਿਵੈਲਪਮੈਂਟ ਮਿਨਿਸਟਰੀ ਆਫ ਹੋਮ ਅਫੇਅਰਸ so this is where uh, the samadhi of mahatma gandhi father of the nation rise or rests and the correct answer to this question is this particular samiti which manages the samadhi it comes under ministry of urban development so next question what is true of hansen's disease a it is caused by virus b the disease mainly affects the skin peripheral nerves surfaces of the upper respiratory tract and the eyes c it is marked by loss of sensation and thickened nerves d the incubation period of the disease is about 5 years so uh, firstly just to add to you uh, your information and simplifying the question hansen's disease is the another name for leprosy so recently prime minister talked about national leprosy eradication program and in that context the disease turns important so first one is wrong why because leprosy is caused by bacteria if you look at b yes these are the main points which get affected c Yes due to thickening of the nerves we have a loss of sensation particularly in places whereby we see a, 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 a we see a loss of pigment right if you look at d the incubation period yes amazingly up to 5 years you might not see any symptoms of leprosy so the incubation period what is incubation period uh, the time from the onset of disease to the arrival or the uh, seeing of the first symptoms so that is the incubation period so it is approximately about 5 years so if we hereby have b c d s d correct answer next question and last question what is true of india handmade bazaar a it is an exhibition of textiles in northeast b it is an investor summit of handmade goods in northeast c it is an online portal to give direct market access facility d none of the above so the correct answer to this question is c it is an online portal to enable direct market access facility so friends that's it for today in case you find the initiative useful please do not forget to rate and review the same thank you so much